be a political commentator. I'm the only one around. So I want everybody to be keen. I'm going to address the issue of Matiangi. What we are witnessing William Ruto is doing is what is called political revenge. And we want to warn William Samuel Ruto going forward. Ruto frustrating Matiangi should not be a priority at this moment. This is the only time the cost of living is unaffordable. Most Kenyans cannot put, put the food on the table. But Ruto is busy looking after Matiangi. And for that matter, Ruto must go. <laughs> We cannot have a country of jokers, a group of jokers put together, reasoning the, the way they want, reasoning through the deputy president, Mr. Gachagua. You know what Mr. Gachagua is saying? That is what the, what the government of Kenya is saying. So we are warning William Samuel Ruto. We, we told you. We have not welcomed your win. Since you came over to Raila to Mesema, to Nangoya direction of which Raila has started giving the direction. Other come like since you are to to Lia Vizuri, where we are going to Kusumbu Matiang. You must withdraw what you are doing currently, or else since you started to tangle with Barabara Ivi Karibun, mambo ya cost of living. Cost of living. Jana ni leona raila alikuwa naungea and I took a lot of time kuangalia raila nasema nini. Buwana kama ulesikia vila raila alisema Ruto should not be in the office. Ruto did not win the elections. Mimi nimekasarika sana naona balala ya ye kufanya kazi ameanza kufanya politics na ukiona mkikuyu wameingia kwa barabara wewe unangojia nini <laughs> sisi hatutaki kujua maandamano ilikuwa juu ya nini sisi chenye tunaona mkikuyu ako kwa barabara <laughs> na kama mkikuyu ameingia kwa barabara <laughs> hii mtu yote bado kwa nini hawajaingia hiyo <laughs> inaku, inakuambia things are very bad in the country and we warned Mount Kenya when they were electing William Samuel Ruto. It was nothing less other than tribalism. That they did not want to know who was becoming the president. So long as huyu mtu hakuwa mjaluo, yeye akusaba. Sasa unaona wameingia kwa barabara. Na hiyo barabara itaendelea na itaendelea na hii siku 10 ikiisha, Raila alisema. We will join them there. We will replace them there. Tukiwa hapo mbele, unajua hata maandamano watu wanafanya hapa Kenya, maandamano ni maandamano yetu. Uwezi andamana properly kabla sisi ya tujangio kwa barabara. Sasa wameanza na tukifota nyuma, wana, wanarudi nyuma, sasa tunakuwa mbele. Haki ya mungu, Ruto will have to go. Hawa watu wote wamekosa chakula, wamekuja hapa sasa leo hii. The things are not, are not good in the country. And Ruto will have to go. And that is what Raila has told us. And Raila must be respected. Let me warn them, Mr. Speaker, before I sit down. Raila Molodinga is the next president of this country. And we demand maximum respect for Raila Molodinga. We cannot have political toddlers. People who are politically redundant. Somebody like Gachagua was abusing people's president. And you want the country to be peaceful. We are not going to accept. Na sisi sote tutatoka. Na wewe kama wata inge kwa barabara, wewe enda Uganda mpaka tumalizaza na mandamano. This country is not a country of jokers, Mr. Speaker. That's why these days mimi sinda furaha sana. Nikiangalia bunge, people are not discussing matters. People are doing what is called political comedy. People don't come here to discuss issues affecting us.
People come here to discuss about political comment. What are the cost of living we are not going to accept and the route we must go home, as Raila stated. It is nothing less, hakuna handshake, hakuna mambo ya kuongeza kitu yoyote. Within 10 days, after 10 days, Ruto will have to go. Na mimi nitakikisha, watu wa meenda, hata kama sita enda. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Omoshi. Wait, wait, wait.